Hello, and welcome to a new lesson for English learners in grade 7. Our today's lesson is Birds Connect Our World. My name is Sanya Bozhenovic, and I will be your English teacher today. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to talk about migratory birds, and you will be able to organize different pieces of information from different sources. For today's lesson, you need a device with a reliable internet connection, your notebook and a pencil, and a QR code scanner. If you have all you need for today's lesson, let's start. How do birds connect our world? Do you know the birds that you can see on this slide? Do you know what a migratory bird is? Do you know what to migrate means? If you know the words on this slide, use them to answer the question. If you don't know the words on this slide, please pause this video and copy the words into your notebook. Then try to give your answer to the question that you can see on this slide. What do you know about birds? Can you describe a bird? Do you know what birds do? Can you name a few activities? How many migratory birds do you know that come to Croatia? Can you name any? Why are migratory birds important for people in Croatia? Please pause this video and make your notes to answer these questions. Here are some words to talk about birds. Birds have feathers, they have wings, they have a beak, they fly, they have a nest, eggs, they hatch. Birds sing and tweet and twitter and chirp and shriek and cry and hoot. Please copy the words into your notebook and try to add some more words to this list. Do you know that there is the World Migratory Bird Day? Do you know how this day is observed in the world? Do you know if there are any activities in Croatia? Have you ever participated? To learn more about the World Migratory Bird Day, you can visit worldmigratorybirdday.org. You can see the link on this slide. Copy the link into your browser to read more about the day that is celebrated biannually on the second Saturday in May and in October. Visit the link, read about the day, and try to answer the questions that you can see in this presentation. And then let's go bird watching. Before we learn more about bird watching, which is one of the most popular activities for people who like birds, let's find the difference between an ornithologist and a bird watcher, a birder. You can pause this video and find out more about these two birds. An ornithologist is a scientist, and the bird watcher, also called a birder, is a person who likes watching birds. To watch birds, you need equipment. What equipment do we need? We need binoculars, a good camera, Sensible clothing. We don't want to be near birds wearing bright colors. We want to be near birds in colors that don't scare birds. And then you need a handbook, which classifies birds by species to learn about the birds that you are watching. Is bird watching popular in Croatia? Have you ever seen these birds? If yes, where, when was it? The birds you can see on this slide are the gull, Caleb, and the heron, Chapia. Do you know a story about one of these birds? And the birds on this slide are the starling, Chorak, and the swallow, Lasta. Do you know a story about one of these birds? The spoonbill 
and the wild goose. All these two do know a story about them. The kingfisher, Vodomar, and the stork, Roda. The most popular couple of storks in Croatia are Klepetan and Malena. Please copy the sentences that you can see on this slide. Klepetan and Malena are... They first met. Their nest is on... Klepetan leaves in and travels. He returns in... Please guess the words that are missing from the sentences. And then... Copy the link that you can see on the right hand side of the slide bit.ly slash birds connect one. Copy the link and watch the video. Please listen carefully and complete the sentences after watching the video. The true love returns in the spring is the story of Klepetan and Malena, and the correct answers are here. Klepetan and Malena are storks. They first met 15 years ago. Their nest is on a house roof. Klepetan leaves in August and travels to the warm south. He returns in March. Here is a new text. It's a short text about birds in Croatia. In this text, there are words a flyway, a stopover, a habitat loss, a habitat degradation. Do you know what these words mean? Please read the text and find the answers. We are all linked. Please pause this video to read about how human activities are the source for most dangers for birds, but they can also help birds. Read carefully the examples and say if you agree or disagree. Then try to add some more examples of how human activities can be the source for dangers for birds, but also how human activities can help birds. Scan this QR code or copy the link that you can see on the left hand side of the slide bit.ly slash birds in crow. Copy the link or scan this code to read the text. Ask and answer two questions using the information in this text. Ask how many and ask when. Write the questions and your answers in your notebook. Please don't forget to share your questions and your answers with your teacher. What can we do? We can learn about birds and about birding to understand better the importance of their existence. We can tell others about the importance of protecting migratory birds. We can protect habitats they need to survive. And we can make our gardens bird friendly. Now stop for a second and think. What else? What else can you do? Write one more idea in your notebook. In this lesson we have seen several pictures of beautiful birds and we learned how to name them. Then we read about birds in Croatia and about the World Migratory Bird Day. We have learned about the importance of birds for our life. In this lesson, you have two speaking tasks. You can present about one bird, or you could present about the World Migratory Bird Day. Or you can also decide to complete both tasks. The first task in this lesson Take a photo of a bird or find a picture of a bird that you like. Name that bird, describe it and say if it's a migratory bird. Find at least one interesting piece of information about that bird. You can say where you have seen it, what you have learned about it. 
finally explain why you have chosen that word. When you are happy with your presentation, record it and share it with your class. The second speaking task is to present about the World Migratory Bird Day. Speak for a minute about the World Migratory Bird Day. Say what is observed, when it's observed, explain what you can do to observe that day. When you are happy with your talk, with your presentation, record it and share it with your class. This checklist can help you with both task 1 and task 2. Make sure you have prepared notes for a one minute long talk and that you have used the information and the new words from this lesson and organize your talk into the introduction of the talk, the main part and the conclusion. And check that you speak clearly and without hesitation. Then your talk is ready to be shared with your class and your teacher. I hope you like the topic of birds and that you would like to learn more. If you would like to learn more, here are some research topics for you. How do birds fly? Which birds don't migrate? Why do birds form flocks? You can do some research, learn more, and report about what you have learned to your teacher and your classmates. The last activity in today's lesson is your exit card. Please Pause this video, copy the sentences that you can see on this screen, and complete the sentences in your notebook. Please write three facts about the importance of migratory birds, three facts that you have learned in this lesson. Then name two birds that were mentioned in today's lesson. And finally, write one question that you would like to find answer to. When you finish completing the sentences, when you finish your exit card, that's the end of today's lesson. Goodbye until our next lesson.